And you've got to come together and create a document that's going to govern the event for the next iteration. Yeah, I think the relationship between the team New Zealand and ourselves during this process has remained strong. We're both working together to try and create a, you know, a truly spectacular event. I think keeping the AC75 for this next iteration of the Cup is exciting. The developments from here are going to be truly performance based. The boats will end up being quicker, uh, more efficient. They're very expensive yachts to, to design and manufacture. They're all high-end materials, which inevitably cost a lot of money. All the systems are very expensive, so restricting people to only do one boat. Knowing that there's second-hand boats on the market that a team can pick up and get in the water and get their heads around you know, what an AC-75 consists of in terms of support operations, um, you know, just learning how to sail the boats. So that's an opportunity for a new team to come in and get started straight away while they design and build with their only new boat in the background. The existing teams can only sail their old boats after September 2022, whereas there's a window of opportunity for a new team to get 20 days of accumulated sailing between June and September. So it gives them a little leg up to try and get them on the same level playing field as teams that are already in place. So the hydrogen support vessel at the America's Cup is an opportunity for us to develop and push ideas which may not be achievable in the commercial market. We are required to use uh, vessels that are powered by hydrogen fuel source. These would be foiling boats, but it's a bit of a challenge because obviously this is new technology in the marine industry. There's some technology in the automotive world obviously, but trying to combine that with, with where we are and the speeds we're trying to achieve is, is a very big challenge. But that's what being in the America's Cup is about, is ambitious design projects and, and executing them. Between now and the America's Cup in 2024, there's several periods where teams are restricted from sailing an AC-75. And what's that trying to do is equalise the balance between teams in the Northern Hemisphere and teams in the Southern Hemisphere. And when those teams might need to be shipping their boats, the no sailing periods really just sort of evens out the, the options for teams so that a Northern Hemisphere team doesn't get far ahead of a, a Southern Hemisphere team in terms of time on the water. It's really just to try and level the playing field across the board. So 2022 is going to be a year of building the operations group. We're going to build our group again because we've been focusing pretty much on the technical group and getting that group up and running with this, you know, new tool sets and, you know, we're going to learn more about the venue and the timing. So that'll help us plan for sort of 23 and 24 beyond. Ideally 2022, by the end of that year, we'll have, I'd say 90% of the team will be brought together. So that's sailing operations, technical group, and we'll be fully fledged outfit operating in a sailing venue somewhere and, and getting back on the water where we all want to be.